Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how a query key works and how you can prefetch data before using use query. So don't waste time and let's jump in it. Let's start from a new hooks called use get to do by D. This hooks is used to fetch the data of a single to do and the request is composed by a fetch request, a get request, in this case API slash task slash the to do IDs and return the to do in case the to do exists. In the other case, raise an error, a 404 error in this case. Then this uh, hook return a use to do uh, result in this case a to do that could be a to do or null a, a flag call is loading to understand if there is a loading uh, uh, state and uh, the error in case of error then it's time to see how use get to do by d is uh, is built so now it's time to code it First of all, we have to use the use query hook to create our custom use get to do by the hooks. So we can use const and we can use use query to build our custom hook. In this case, the first param is the key. In this example, we can combine the key with the query key dot to do. In this case, is a string with to do's uh, plus the ID of the to do. So in uh, the React query um, cache, uh, we have a query with the ID uh, to do plus the ID of the to do, and uh, it's specific for this to do. Then we can create a narrow function and we can use the fetch uh, to do uh, request in this case, and we can pass the ID to get the to do from the server. Then we can use refresh refetch refetch on mount with false value and refetch on Windows focus to to false in this case. And also we can set the retry to true in the in this case. Then we can get the data. In this case, we can uh, rename the data uh, into a to-do variable. We can use the is loading, and we can get the error. Last but not least, we can map the to-do as a result and the is loading in the in our uh, in our result. There is a, a, a simple mistake. To-do in this case could be undefined but in our signature to do is to do or null. So we can fix it using the null value in case of to do is undefined. Perfect. In the, this way, we have created a custom use get to do by the hooks that accept an ID, the ID of the to do, and check if the, the to do is already exist in uh, in the state of the React query, uh, get the to do. Otherwise, fetch the data from the um, from the to do request and save the result in a custom uh, in a specific uh, key called to do plus id. The important part of this, uh, this, uh, this section is uh, the key because uh, you can understand, you can combine uh, different string or number to create a custom key for a specific uh, part of uh, your uh, React query state in this case. So now it's time to see the result in the browser. Before moving to the browser, it's better to see how we can use the use get to do by the uh, hook. In this case, inside of the pages, we can go in the to do's uh, folder and in the edit folder, we can find the index.tsx file. In this, inside of this file, we can find the edit to do uh, component. In this case, the edit to do component get the ID from the param, 
using Zod parse the param and get the ID and using and use this ID to get the data from the, the hook use get to do by the in this case I get the to do and is loading then if uh, is loading return a cycle loader otherwise uh, show a simple uh, form in this case with uh, an input where the user can uh, can um, insert the the new text of the to do easy now it's time to uh, move in the browser okay now if i click in one of the to do in this case to do one as you can notice appear a new uh, query a query with a key to do's common one and the data is the data of the to do easy the same is if i click in another to do in this case the to do two uh, the key is to do common two and the data is two and uh, text to do two in this case easy peasy but there is another cool feature in React Query. Sometimes we need to prefetch the data before using uh, before use it. For, ins for instance, we, we want to um, load all the data of the to-do before uh, user click in the, in the edit uh, icon, for instance. This uh, is possible using React Query using the prefetch um, feature. So now it's time to see how it works. To prefetch data with the React query, you have to use the use query client. And when you have the client, for instance, we can go to the on success of our use query of the use to do hook. And this on success is a function that set the list of to do, to do's, and do something. In our case, using um, to do's dot for each we have a to do and we can use the client dot prefetch query we can use uh, for instance query uh, key dot to do and use the to do dot id and we now we can pass the, the function for get the to do in this case we can we can use the fetch uh, or maybe we can export the the fetch request from the use get to do by the hooks but i want to uh, prefer another approach yes it's uh, it's uh, the right way to uh, iterate all the to do but the prefetch um, the prefect request must be uh, inside of the same uh, file of the use get to do by the hooks so we can uh, uh, leave in only one uh, file the keys and the business logic of uh, this uh, this hook so we can go to the use get to do by id and we can uh, create a new function in this case export function prefetch get to do by id for instance this function accept a client in this case a query client and a, for instance an id so id is a to do id and inside of this function we can call a client dot prefetch query we can use the same query in this case query uh, query key dot to do and the id of the to do and then we can use the um, the simple function fetch to do and we can use the id in this case perfect this uh, permit to uh, create inside of the same file the use get to do by the hook and the prefetch get to do by the uh, function now we can use this prefetch get to do by the uh, function inside of the on success in the use to do so we can use uh, prefetch get to do by the and we can pass the client because the client is part of the uh, use to do hook and then the to do dot id last but not least we have to import this um, 
this, fu this function. Easy, now it's time to see the result in the browser. Perfect, now if uh, you refresh the page, as you can notice there is the to-do key with all the data, so the, the, the to-dos from uh, 0 to 3, and uh, the, uh, there are also the uh, get by ed to-dos for each of these uh, to-do. So there is the to-do 1, to-do 2, to-do 3, to-do 4, and so on. So if I click the to-do 1, I can uh, see in the Data Explorer that uh, there is the ID 1 and the text 2. Uh, for the to-do 2, there is the ID 2 and the text 2, and uh, so on. And uh, if I click, for instance, in the to-do 1, I don't have to wait the, um, the request because I already have the, the data in the client. Double check if I go to network and go back to the to-do. In this case, as you can notice, if I click in the, I don't know, in the to-do 3, for instance, uh, th there isn't any, any request and the data already, uh, already is in the client because the prefetch request uh, load the data during the phase of the to-do list in this case. Okay, perfect. I think that's all from the prefetch, uh, prefetch feature. Okay, I think that's all from this content. And in this content, you learn how you can build your custom query key in React Query and how you can prefetch the data using the prefetch feature exposed by React Query. I hope you enjoyed this content and if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you wanna stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.